Hey, sweetie, have you seen Larry? He's out waxing the firmament. Still? It's huge. We gotta get rid of that thing as soon as they get telescopes. I'm sick of it. It does nothing for me, and I think it clashes with the drapes. So, guess what I did? I spent the weekend with Bushy in Vegas. While Larry was out waxing the firmament. Yeah, and we saw this great show. Have you heard of Penn & Teller? Penn works for me. You're kidding. You gotta get me an intro. These guys did this unbelievable thing where they shoot each other with guns. That's a great trick. Well, it's no trick. I mean, I was there, I saw it. They both scratched distinct identifying marks into the bullet before they put it into the gun. Right. And then they had all these volunteers come up who had firearms experience, so there's absolutely no possibility of any kind of trickery uh -huh. here. And then they shot each other, and then they caught each other's bullets in their mouths. It was unbelievable. Sweetheart, that's a magic trick. Well, it was magical, all right, but there was no trickery whatsoever here. I saw it with my own eyes, sweetie. They, they are magical beings. Uh, honey, David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear in front of a whole bunch of people. Get out! So there are other magical beings like me in the universe? This, this Copperfield guy and, the, and Penn and the Gillette guy? They're not magical beings. They'd tell you that themselves. They're illusionists. <laughs> sweetie, you're so naive. It's so cute. Oh. Of course they're not going to tell you that they're magical beings. They'd be bombarded with requests just like me. Look at my voicemail, how it fills up. You know, give me this, give me that. Okay, remember last year when Jesus sawed me in half at the company talent show? Yeah, that was magic, just like the water into wine that he did just before. Okay, the water into wine, yes, but the sawing in half, no. That was a magic trick. When I got into the box, I... What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to explain the trick. You're trying to take the magic from me. I believe in magic and you're trying to take that away. You know how much I cherish that belief. That belief gives me great comfort. I feel like I'm not alone in the universe. Like there are other magical beings just like me and you're trying to take that away from me. I'm not trying to take it away from you. I am trying to give you the truth. I'm trying to explain to you that when I got in the box... Okay, now you're being the child. You're being a child. You're being a meanie. Just turn your all-knowingness on, just for a second, and then you'll see. No way. Uh-uh. Not going there. Why? Because knowing everything sucks. Knowledge is bad. Why do you think I told the kids, stay away from the tree of knowledge? I never understood that. Ah! What? Lucy, what is bliss? Bliss? Yeah, what is bliss? It's... It, you mean the feeling? Yeah, exactly. It's elation, it's joy, it's... Ugh. It's ignorance, Lucy. You have to learn your aphorisms. Ignorance is bliss. That's why I made the kids dumb as rocks, so that they could have a good life. But what did they do? That right out of the gate, they go and blow it with what? Knowledge, knowledge. Everybody's got to have knowledge. Well, you know what they say. Where ignorance is bliss, tis folly to be. Oh, I know this. Uh, the private chefs... Chicken and garlic pasta. What have I told you about going long stretches without eating? Now you're gonna binge, plus you're not listening to me. I'm listening ignorance and stuff. Where ignorance is bliss, tis folly to be wise. Oh, I don't believe that. So knowledge is bad? Absolutely, it's awful, it's horrible. It doesn't even taste good. That The fruit on the tree, ugh. Okay, so what if people don't understand something? What if something seems fishy? They're not supposed to investigate? They're Absolutely not. Do you have any idea how much time can be wasted investigating? I mean, and what, what for? When you can easily and efficiently write it off to some mystical force. I mean, that's what I do. Come on, sweetie. What killed the cat? Whiskers is dead? No, not Whiskers, the proverbial cat. You have to learn your aphorisms. Curiosity killed the cat. So curiosity is bad too? Absolutely, it's awful. In fact, you know what? Hold on, I wrote this down. I put it in my phone because I wanted, I knew I was gonna need this. This is St. Augustine, who happened to know a little something something about life. There is another form of temptation even more fraught with danger. Danger, Lucy. This is the disease of curiosity. It is this which drives us to try and discover the secrets of nature, those secrets which are beyond our understanding, which can avail us nothing, and which man should not wish to learn. Booyah! But you're the deity. So, it's still a really good quote. It's St. Augustine. Okay, look. You know I'm not one to cause trouble. Yeah, tell that to Joe. And if this belief gives you peace, if it makes you happy, that's fine. It does, absolutely. Just so long as you don't voice this kind of folly on kids in the classroom. That's all I ask. Does that include Sunday school?
everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. We had a good time shooting it. We did. Um, if you can afford to, go over to MrDD.com. You can, it's free. That's true, but I'm talking about if you can afford to, go subscribe or donate to the show to keep it going. Subscribe is better, because then we know monthly. Right, right. We have a new Larry Deedee coming up on Wednesday. Those mm -hmm. are fun. And the brand new words coming up on Monday. Which is good, because Jimbo's in the bathtub and he's, he has tattoos all over. He is so sexy, too. It's frightening. Um, and so that's it. Just stay tuned and uh, stick with us. And, you know, go subscribe. Go Thank subscribe. you. Go Bye. subscribe. Go subscribe. Go subscribe. Drop it.